Let's draw the structure for hept to e. Now, hept here tells us that there are seven carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Ene here tells us that this is an alkene, meaning that there is a double bond between carbon. Okay, let's draw the seven carbon chain. A trick to draw these is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six. First carbon, second carbon, fourth carbon, fifth, sixth, and the seventh carbon. We know that there is a double bond. Now this two here tells us the location of the double bond. It is the second carbon. Now the double bond starts at the second carbon. And it is between the second and the third carbon. So now let's get rid of these numbers and add the second bond between the second and the third carbon. So this is the double bond added between the second and the third carbon. This is the structure for hep2ene. Let's draw the structure for hex2ene. Hex right here tells us that there are six carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Ene right here tells us that this is an alkene, meaning that there is a double bond between carbons. Okay, so let's draw the six carbons. A trick to draw these is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. One, two, three, four, five. Let's number them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This two right here tells us the location of this double bond, which is the second carbon. So the double bond is between the second and the third carbon. Okay. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's draw the double bond between the second and the third carbon. So this is the structure for hex 2 e where the double bond is between the second and the third carbon. Let's draw the structure for 2, 3, dimethyl but one e or 2, 3, dimethyl butene. Butte right here tells us that there are four carbons present in the longest carbon chain. This ene right here tells us that this is an alkene, meaning that there is a double bond present between the carbons. Let's draw the four carbon chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. So one, two, three. Let's number them. One, two, three, and four. This one between the butte and ene tells us the location of this double bond, which is one, meaning that the double bond is between the first and the second carbon. Okay, so let's draw the double bond between the first and the second carbon. Now, we also have a dimethyl attached to this carbon chain, meaning that there are two methyls attached, one on the second carbon and one on the third carbon. So we have a methyl here and we have a methyl here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the methyl on the second carbon and a methyl on the third carbon. 
This is the structure for 2,3-dimethylbutene or 2,3-dimethylbutene. Let's draw the structure for 3,4-dimethylheptone or 3,4-dimethylheptene. Hept right here tells us that there are seven carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Ene right here tells us that this is an alkene meaning that there is a double bond present between the carbons. Okay, let's draw the seven carbon chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, this one right here tells us the location of the double bond, which is between the first and the second carbon. Okay, so let's draw the double bond. Now we also have a dimethyl, meaning that there are two methyls attached to this carbon chain. One on the third carbon and the other one on the fourth carbon. So we have a methyl here and we have a methyl here. Okay, so let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the methyl on the third carbon and on the fourth carbon. So this is the structure for 3,4-dimethylheptone or 3,4-dimethylheptene. Let's draw the structure for 3,4-dimethylcyclopentene. Pent right here tells us that there are five carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Ene here tells us that there is a double bond present between the carbons. It is an alkene. Now, when we see the word cyclo, this means that the longest carbon chain is arranged in a ring. Every time you see the word cyclo, you have to draw a ring. So when you draw the five carbons in a ring, it will just be a pentagon. So let's draw the pentagon. Now we drew our pentagon, now we have to add the double bond. Since we don't see a number for the double bond, we assume that it is on the first carbon, meaning it is between the first and the second carbon. So let's number these carbons. Let's draw the double bond between the first and the second carbon. So we have the cyclopentene drawn in. Now we need to attach the dimethyl. Dimethyl means that there are two methyls attached to the cyclopentene, one on the third carbon and one methyl on the fourth carbon. So we have a methyl on the third carbon here and we have a methyl on the fourth carbon here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's draw the methyls on the third and the fourth carbon. So this is the structure for 3,4-dimethylcyclopentene, or you can also call it 3,4-dimethylcyclopent1e. Let's draw the structure for 3-methylbutene or 3-methylbutene. But right here tells us that there are four carbons present in the longest carbon chain. 
Een right here tells us that this is an alkene, meaning that there is a double bond present between the carbons. Let's draw the four carbons. A trick to draw these is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. One, two, three. Let's number them. One, two, three, four. This one here tells us the location of the double bond present in the chain, which is between carbon one and carbon two. Okay, so let's add the double bond between the first and the second carbon. There's also a methyl attached to the longest carbon chain. This methyl is attached on the third carbon, which is right here. Okay, so we're going to get rid of these numbers and we're going to attach the methyl on the third carbon. So this is the structure for 3-methyl-butene or 3-methyl-butene. Let's draw the structure for 3-ethylcyclohexene. Hex right here tells us that there are six carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Ene here tells us that there is a double bond present between the carbons. Now we see the word cyclo. This means that the six carbons are arranged in a ring. Every time we see the word cyclo, we have to draw a ring. Now when we draw six carbons in a ring, we end up with a hexagon. So let's draw a hexagon. Okay, so let's number these carbons. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we have a double bond present. And we don't see a number. When we don't see a number, this means that it is present on the first carbon. Hexene basically means that there is a double bond between the first and the second carbon right here. So let's draw the double bond between the first and the second carbon. Now we also have a methyl attached to this cyclohexene and it is attached on the third carbon right here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach ethyl on the third carbon. This is the structure for 3-ethylcyclohexene or 3-ethylcyclohex1e. Let's draw the structure for 3-methylpent1e or 3-methylpentene. Pent right here tells us that there are five carbons in the longest carbon chain. In here tells us that this is an alkene, meaning that there is a double bond present between the carbons. Let's draw the five carbon chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. One, two, three, four. Let's number the carbons. One, two, three, four, and five. This one right here tells us the location of the double bond in the carbon chain, meaning that the double bond is present between the first and the second carbon. Okay, so let's draw the double bond. Now there's also a methyl attached to the parent chain. 
which is on carbon number three, right here. Okay, so let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the methyl on third carbon. This is the structure for 3-methyl pent-1-E or 3-methyl pentene. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.